this module. You will learn about the analytical solution of a LCR circuit. Consider a circuit comprising of a resistor of resistance R. A capacitor of capacitance C. And an inductor of inductance L connected in series to an AC source. Which applies a voltage V equal to Vm sine omega T at any instant of time T. Here, AC voltage V is the instantaneous voltage existing in the circuit. At any instant of time, the charge on the capacitor is Q. The current in the circuit is I, and dI by dt represents the rate of change of current in the circuit. Instantaneous voltage across the capacitor is equal to Q by C. The voltage across the resistor is IR and the induced EMF across the inductor is minus LDI by DT. The negative sign here signifies the direction of the induced current according to Lenz's law. Applying Kirchhoff's loop rule to this circuit, we get Q by C plus IR plus LDI by DT minus V equal to zero. Let this be equation one. Since V is equal to Vm sine omega t, we get Q by C plus IR plus LDI by dt is equal to Vm sine omega t. We know that the instantaneous current I is equal to dQ by dt. Hence, we get Q by C plus R dQ by dt plus LD square Q by dt square is equal to Vm sine omega t. Let this be equation 2. As the three circuit elements, the resistor, the capacitor and the inductor are in series, the current through them is same in amplitude as well as in phase. Let us now assume a solution for the equation 2 as Q is equal to Qm sine omega t plus theta where Qm and theta are constants. Qm is the maximum charge on the capacitor. Then we have I equal to dQ by dt is equal to Qm omega cos omega t plus theta. Let this be equation 3. Similarly, we have d square q by dt square equal to minus qm omega square sine omega t plus theta. Substituting these values in equation 2, we get qm sine omega t plus theta by c plus R Q M omega cos omega t plus theta minus L Q M omega square sine omega t plus theta equal to V M sine omega t. Taking omega Q M common in the left hand side of the equation and rewriting the expression, we get omega Q M into sine omega t plus theta by omega c plus R cos omega t plus theta minus omega L sine omega t plus theta is equal to Vm sine omega t. Since capacitive reactance Xc is 1 by omega c and inductive reactance Xl is equal to omega L, we can write the above relation as omega Qm into xc sine omega t plus theta plus r cos omega t plus theta minus xl sine omega t plus theta equal to vm sine omega t or omega qm into r cos omega t plus theta plus xc minus xl into sine omega t plus theta equal to vm sine omega t
Let this be equation 4. Similar to resistance in a DC circuit, we introduce a quantity impedance in AC circuits, denoted by Z. Here, Z is the impedance of the LCR series AC circuit and is expressed as Z is equal to under root R square plus XC minus XL square. In equation 4, multiplying and dividing the left hand side by the impedance of the circuit Z, we get the equation 5. If sine phi is the difference of capacitive and inductive reactance divided by the circuit impedance, that is, sine phi is equal to xc minus xl by z, where phi is the phase difference between the instantaneous current and the voltage. Then, cos phi gives the relation between the resistance with the circuit impedance, that is, cos phi is equal to r by z. Now, sine phi by cos phi will be equal to tan phi, which will be equal to xc minus xl by r. If the relations between z, r and xc minus xl are represented through a diagram, they form a right-angled triangle as shown. This is called the impedance diagram. From the impedance diagram also, we observe that tan phi is equal to xc minus xl by r. Hence, we get the same relation for phi as was obtained through the phasor approach that we learned earlier. Substituting the values of cos phi and sin phi in equation 5, we get qm omega z cos phi cos omega t plus theta plus sine phi sine omega t plus theta is equal to vm sine omega t. This can now be written as qm omega z cos omega t plus theta minus phi equal to vm sine omega t. Let this be equation 6. Here, we have used the trigonometric transformations identity cos A cos B plus sine A sine B is equal to cos of A minus B. Comparing the values on both the sides of equation 6, we get Vm equal to Qm omega Z, which is equal to Imz. Therefore, maximum voltage in the LCR circuit, Vm, is equal to maximum current in the circuit IM into impedance of the circuit Z. Also, as cos omega t minus pi by 2 is equal to sin omega t, we have theta minus phi is equal to minus pi by 2. From equation 3, for the instantaneous current I is equal to Qm omega cos omega t plus theta. Since Im is equal to Qm omega, we get I equal to Im cos omega t plus theta. Since theta minus phi equal to minus pi by 2, we have Theta is equal to phi minus pi by 2. We can simplify the above equation as I equal to I m cos omega t plus phi minus pi by 2. Thus, we have the instantaneous current in an LCR circuit. I is equal to maximum current in the circuit. I m into sine omega t plus phi. To know the maximum value of the current in LCR circuit, we use the equation for maximum current Vm is equal to Imz. Substituting the value of the impedance Z, we get Im equal to Vm by under root of R square plus 
xc minus xl square. You have now reached the end of this module. In this module, you learned that for a LCR circuit comprising of a resistor of resistance R, a capacitor of capacitance C, and an inductor of inductance L connected in series to an AC source. Instantaneous voltage V is equal to Vm sine omega t. Maximum voltage Vm is equal to Imz. Instantaneous current I is equal to Im sine omega t plus phi and maximum current Im is equal to Qm omega or Vm by under root R square plus xc minus xl square.